Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. Today, we're cooking scallops. And we got a hold of really nice scallops from Norway. They're hand-picked by divers. And I have to say, they're a lot better than what you can normally get here in Switzerland. So these are coming straight from Sweden, actually, from the fish market yesterday. And there's a guy who drives down to Switzerland and sells it the next day here. So they're as fresh as you can get them in Switzerland. But before we have a look at the ingredients we need for today, please do me the favor, support the channel by clicking the subscribe button and checking the bell icon so that you get notifications. But now let's have a look. We have our scallops. They're fresh. We have a fennel. We're going to pickle some fennel, like a quick pickle. So this is, I already prepared the pickling liquid. It's a three to one ratio of vinegar and sugar. We have some vinegar, we have an egg yolk, we have some neutral oil and some salt. And with that, we're gonna make kind of an emulsion or a mayo from the roe of the scallops. I'll show you how we'll do that later. And the first thing we'll do, because the longer the better, is we'll slice the fennel really thinly and put it in the pickling liquid. And then we'll continue after that. So to our fennel, we'll just cut this off and take off the green because we're going to use it to decorate. We're going to chop this up. Uh, it has a very nice fennelly taste. So just save that. That's enough. And then we'll slice down the middle. Take out the stem. Cut the bottom piece off and I will slice very thinly and since we're not making very much of this this is enough and we'll put this straight in the pickling liquid and let that kind of stay in there for as long as possible so put that to the side and now we'll actually open the scallops it's time for us to open these take off the plastic thing Find a place where you can get in. I use a spoon that I've bent. This is normally my egg spoon when I boil eggs because it puts them in nicely and they never crack. But you can use this here as well. So go in, stay as close to the lid as you can. And there's a muscle around here that you need to kind of cut off. It's similar to oysters. Then you just open it all up. Now we can use the other side of the spoon to scrape the meat. And I prepared some cold water here. And I'm just going to put this into the cold water, like so. And then we'll clean them afterwards. But now open your other scallops. This is great. It smells like pure ocean. That's the last one. So I'll put this away and then I'll show you how we clean the inside. Now if you want, you can serve it in the shells, just clean them up. I'm not doing that today. Now we need to clean these up. So this part here, that's the roe sack. We need that for our mayonnaise. You kind of want to loosen the membranes. And you see this here, that's the muscle. I want to get that away as well. It can be a little bit fiddly. And take your time so that you don't break the muscle. There we have a nice clean muscle. I'm going to rinse that quickly in water. 
and there we have a very clean part but don't forget we're going to use this as well so remove it and here you don't have to be too worried just get it off and now you do this to the rest of your muscles and I'll see you in a couple of minutes and as you can see here muscles really do come in kind of all different shapes and sizes is a longer one, a bit of a shorter, fatter one. And here you have the rowy, also different colors. And the next thing we'll have to do for our mayo or for our emulsion is to cut these rowy sacks up and get the rowy out. So we'll do that next. So you take your rowy sack, split it in half, open it up. Now you can and I finally scrape out and here you left with the membrane so do that for all of you Roy put it in a separate container time to make a mayonnaise we have our Roy our egg yolk some vinegar about a teaspoon and we'll add some salt to this as well a good pinch and now neutral oil but first we'll mix this up now we'll go in with a little bit of oil as always slow in the beginning and then once it's emulsified you can pour more oil consistency we're pretty perfect let's give it a quick try everything perfect we don't need to add any salt or vinegar I will put this might put it in a bottle so we can squeeze out smaller um, smaller portions of it uh, so I'll put that in a bottle and then we'll move over there to fry up the scallops and then we'll just need to plate taste and say goodbye but see you in a bit. We have a nice big slab of butter in our pan. We're going to melt that now. And as always, once the sound stops, the butter is hot enough. So let's wait until it stops uh, bubbling. Our butter is quiet, so we can put in our scallops. I've salted them on the side that I'm putting down now. So we just have to salt them on this side. You want to give them a little bit of time now to get a nice coating. And here you can see the difference between fresh produce and frozen produce. You can get frozen scallops in Switzerland. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with them, but they draw so much water when you put them in a pan that you cannot get them brown. Now look at these ones. Move them over like this so that we can baste them a bit as well. And I don't need much longer now. Maybe another 30 seconds or so. ready we'll take them what we'll do now is we'll just slice these up a little bit warm but that's okay I think two is enough for one serving so we'll start with plating now but before we do that and before these get cold if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed. So do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button below. It really helps me to get my content out there. 
So thank you for that. Now let's plate. Today we'll actually plate in this one here. We haven't used that very often. Perfect. Gonna use a little bit of a butter for the nuttiness. Some of our thinly sliced fennel that's been pickled. Just put it on the kitchen paper to dry off the kind of pickling liquid. And now for our rowy mayonnaise. Do one more here. And remember these, the green part of the fennel that we chopped up. This is just to go a little bit on top like this. And we're ready to dig in. Ah, that's always the most difficult part when you're cooking to kind of wait until you can eat it. Mm. Having quality products really makes such a difference. Mm. I love the textures of the mussels. The kind of salty fishiness of this mayo from the scallop roi that we made. Mm. I think fennel goes perfectly with it. And the sourness of the pickle lightens it a bit. Mm. For me, a real top starter. That's, that's too small for main course. And if you just have like six scallops, it will just be too much scallop. But like this, two scallops like this, perfect portion. I hope you enjoyed this. This is it for today. Don't forget to do the four things. Hit the subscribe button, check the bell icon so that you get notifications. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the episode and hit the thumbs up button. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.